Huh? I say you may not be as organized as we saw in Kenya. And I am working for 25. You get me? I want I want many other people to be strong like me. You get me? Please carry on. You as a leader, what have you done to cause the organization in the youth that organize Do you know that I'm the only member of parliament who has 401 villages and I have held meetings in every village, in every village, not less than, not, for not less than four hours? Are you aware of that? You are not aware? Uh, do you know the type of youths in this country that would cause this change? And it, I am sure that at a particular time, it's going to happen. It's not this elite that is going to lead this revolution. It is these dropouts from, P, from UPE who cannot afford even a smartphone. I am telling you the truth. They are down there, they are playing up, and they will cause the revolution. Don't you think that you're misguiding yourself, Honorable? At the same time, you have said, you know what, you know, the, the youths are not organized. At the same time, you're saying you're organizing the youths. Uh, I'll cut off from you right now so that we can have another speaker. Uh, LM Dada, please speak on. Uh, thank you so much, uh, Dr. Morgan, and our host, the good girl. Um, I don't want to be distracted by, uh, by the, the, the MP, but what I would like to uh, inform him is that, uh, you know, the people he's talking about that he expects to come and liberate this country um, cannot because they've been so disenfranchised. They, they don't have any knowledge. They've been threatened and maybe he's calling them to just go and die. But the youths right now, whether elite or not elite, are going to lead this revolution. Don't try to tear us apart and say that those, 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 those who are, have a bit of elitism will, will prosper. I mean, will not do anything. Uh, the people who were not elite are the ones that came with your crop that the government you're in. Those are the bandits. You know, they use very uncouth methods. Now that era is ending. We want to end that era and put it, put it, put it, you know, at the back of, 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 of our minds forever. Back to the point. Um, the role of journalists in the fight against corruption is so, 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 it's is, is so defined and so important because the media has a role of, first of all, uh, demanding for accountability and transparency from public leaders and even the private uh, leaders in the private sector. The media itself is, 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 is supposed to be free, but we all know that... Uh, you know, the media in Uganda, the biggest extent, is not free because it has been curtailed by a system. When you look at uh, uh, the number of media houses, let's say TV stations, I've just been making account, there are around 61 that are registered, but 31 of them, or 32, are religious-based. Their role is to, you know, switch on TV and teach people how to pray every day, nothing else on, on those programs. And then the other 50% that are left are either musical or UBC and Star, which are literally lost completely. So... The, 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 we were only left with social media. That is why when social media came in and people like Agatha were able to put, you know, all this information that we need, the opaque information that is being hidden by rogue people in, in the system, and they, they poured it on these streets, now we are eating them up like samosas. And it is now starting to want to, to you know, the, the thing is, you know, is boiling up because now we finally have a route of getting, you know, the information of the dirty things they are doing. So let's not, you know, over depend on journalists who are registered in public systems because they are compromised. The only way for them to do good is to get out. It's only a few of them, you know, who have the ability to, you know, to, to, to you know, stop the advances from their bosses and do the right thing. Most of them are compromised and we don't expect anything much from them. We just have to strengthen our social media, you know, side and then keep pushing. Thank you so much. Thank you, LM Dada. Uh, to you out there, you know, Okunyo Mabanabantu should be the charge in us to show them that this is our country. It belongs to us, you know. It should be the charge behind our take to action. Uh, can we please have Moses? Moses? Yes. Uh, good evening. Good evening, everyone. Um, I'm going to say something, you know, that um, I have spoken about before in many arenas and, and, and areas of uh, responsibility and leadership. But if I say that, I, will, I am very lucky to have been in the same room academically with the most the fifth person uh, respectable in security in the world at the moment. She's a lady, she's called Professor Allison. And um, she said uh, something that I always keep in my, in my wallet each time I'm moving around. Um, Julius Caesar was actually a houseboy. It is a fact. And how did he become King Julius Caesar? Uh, this was he was a part time uh, um, gardener, and then he, he's a, a bricklayer, and then the other side is a blacksmith was doing all sorts of jobs and uh, the prince who was supposed to take over from the king he actually was uh, a teenager you know enjoying life with a boy with, with a girlfriend and he thought he could seize this moment and the houseboy the Julius Caesar became king through uh, misinformation so uh, the king died and he 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 went with blacksmith and was printing coins on uh, on, on them was printing uh, the prince is a Malaya. If you, if some of you will understand this, 
and people obviously they 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 they, they read what was on there. They were so unhappy, and 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 all of a sudden the king dies, and this guy becomes they didn't want the prince anymore. They they used to see Julius Caesar in in the palace, and he he took over, and that's how missing misinformation can give us a leadership that is uncooked and baked and and and, and worth it to be what we see today in our parliament. Um, we have to, journalism is a, and this is what this is what she said. Journalism is a medieval relationship with corruption. You see, it's a, it has existed a very long time alongside corruption. You see, which means it has been used, you know, to get in positions. You see, so journalists, you hear, you, you can actually change our country. You see, don't sit back. The only problem that I see that Uganda is facing is uh, the, main, the mainstream media. It's not. It is not engaged in looking into the problems that Ugandans are facing. Corruption is a, a very serious problem. You see, so it has been left to the social media platforms. You see, and you, you, Ugandans, you have to keep pushing. You see, just keep pushing. You have to keep pushing and pushing and pushing. Um, how are you going to push yourselves to positions where you are hitting the right uh, head? Form associations. You see, um, why don't you have like say Kampala Lawyers Association? Western Uganda Lawyers Association, hmm? journalism, the same thing. How big are so as from you put yourself in unions? You see, when, when I was studying, you know, criminology a while ago, uh, how do you combat corruption? You see, unions, eh? non-government organization. This is how you can combat corruption. You see, what the, I was I wanted to offer leadership. You see, uh, I work in the streets of London, um, South Croydon, South London. Croydon was my area. Birmingham as a, a street researcher in crime and reporting to intelligence. Um, for the last 20 years, I, I find, and I can offer leadership, you see, when it comes to security matters, um, I've always um, be worried about my life. And, you know, I, I've always dealt with guns, you know, criminals, you see, and you always have to be worried about your life. They find out about you, but what you don't give them the test, you don't give them the litmus paper, always give them the wrong signals, you see. I like, I have, I think I have um, written to Dr. Z, Dr. Bogan, I have written to you and I've said, why are you matching to parliament you can match past parliament just match past it you see and then you know you, you get your own uh, destination there are people who want to give bigger speeches and talk about corruption because these guys did it they went in Wengo and they get that big uh, on a big platform and they get their speeches so you are matching against what happened in Wengo you see and then what happens after that you see Ugandans we are many we need a document signed by one million Ugandans you see we can deliver it to prime minister's office we don't want uh, you, what you're saying is, yeah, we don't want a monk in parliament. You see, and that's that's what that's the leadership that I can I can I can give to you. Thank you. All right, thank you, thank you, uh, Moses. Uh, Agatha, can we please have your parting shot? Agatha, are you, are you with us? Yeah, yeah. Hi, sorry, I've I've gone off to to attend to other things here, but um. I was uncomfortable that this space became about me. I think I get much more praises than I should. I think every Ugandan is, many Ugandans are trying. Okay, not every Ugandan. Um, it's really a collective effort. Um, but like I said, the, the, the struggle has taught me to appreciate people and to appreciate that we, we all can't play the same role. We can't have the same strength. Um, I remember there's a time <laughs> when I got that award, uh, the, the EU Human Rights Award last year. And... Uh, someone uh, in parliament called congratulate me and this is someone you ordinarily think they don't stand up to these guys but they pass the information to you who they think you can stand up so they also take that risk they also take the, the risk of you know and you know how how they, the person they deal with in that parliament is feared so i i, I learned to appreciate that we, we might think it's more i know those that have lost jobs in parliament because of that i know those that uh drive to go all the way to places where they won't suspect them to to be you know Many people play their small, small roles, um, put in their contributions, and I, I have learned to appreciate that. I have learned to appreciate that those who are not as courageous as we are uh, in the background doing other things. I tell people at Agora we have a team of about 13. You guys know maybe about four of us, but these other ones also do so much. I, I hope that we can all um, play a role we are comfortable, where our competencies, our personality fits, and not judge those who do not contribute to the struggle the same way that we are. In uh, 2016, there was a fight in FDC. Uh, I think that, that must have been when uh, uh, Dr. Vesey decided to run again. And um, 
um, Amanya Mshega wrote open letters, I think, but I remember one where he was uh, saying that, and for me, I took it. Um, I, I, I learned a lesson from it and saying, you can't say that you are the only one in the struggle because other people are not struggling like you. When activists are arrested, there are lawyers that go and do that. So we, we should actually, like the specialization of roles I was talking about, we should know that some people, this is the role they are comfortable and most competent playing, and others um, being behind the scenes, doing research, doing, um, um, you know, following up to, to bail out people. Yeah, you, you learn to understand that not everyone can be as, I won't say bold, other people call, call people like us reckless. I have had this criticism from even some family members, or some friends that, you know, you're so reckless, you don't care about your children, what are you trying to prove? You're fatty, nothing will change, you want to change this country. And I reached a point and said, I don't want any negative energy around me, whether you're my family or not. If you come with that crap of you're fatty, what are you trying to prove? You will not change the world. I will never give you audience again. I hope that we can all um, uh, put in what we can put in and... You know, the rest is background noise. We are accused of being uh, homosexuals. We are accused of being imperialists and their agents. We are, we are told we are working for money, you know, and we are grassing. You know, we, we have done activism without anyone paying you for that. Uh, people like Stella, who is here, who have been in activism longer than us, know that it's actually a very, very lonely journey. I tell people how I am tired all the time, broke half the time. You know, <laughs> you are, the frustrations become so many. Then you have your family that no longer uh, wants to talk to you because they have told you to stop and you haven't stopped. You have friends that you you know like i thought we were all colleagues in the, in this profession until the people that have attacked me the most i am sure you guys have seen the people that have attacked me the most are ashamed of me you deal with that and you try to develop a thick skin and pretend it doesn't affect you but it does it takes a toll on you it reaches a point when you're so overwhelmed when you're on the edge but as i was saying i have been attacked the most by journalists you guys you can check the people that go and attack me there and you say but like, what happened to collegiality? What happened to comradeship? What happened to, you know, at least, you know, you don't even have to do what I do. Just keep quiet. Allow me, please, to take on the calling that I think, you know, it's, it's, it's not, it's a curse. It's a curse. I would also love to be like other people who go and sleep at night after stealing money and, um, and, and doing all that and, and enriching themselves and building mansions that they will never even sleep in. But yeah, we are not like that. Thank you very much, everyone. And thank you for having me. Thank you for the audience that has stayed on to, to listen to us. Thank you. I thank you for sparing to us. Thank you for sparing us because uh, we paid for a better country. Um, at this juncture, please, I would like to continue to remind you that we have him. Um, Mokan, you are breaking. Mokan? I'm breaking, right? Yes, your network is not uh, very stable. You can get a better network. I'll just allow the next speaker. And then maybe later on your network will be better. I want to appreciate Agatha uh, for joining us tonight. And taking off time, I know we're supposed to end at 9.30. We already passed time. Uh, feel free to, to leave in case you, because you already told me you, you had another bit, other engagements to do. Uh, we really appreciate you uh, for your kind words. We appreciate your your, uh, your time. Uh, thank you. And thank you uh, again. Uh, you are free to leave. I will continue with the rest of the team. As they finish uh, talking and giving the submissions, um, Mugi, you can unmute your mic. We have a few uh, minutes and uh, we will be ending the space. Okay, thank you very much, my sister. You always make me to be the last. Nice if day, yo. <laughs> it's very you are literally not the last. I still have Makana and I still have Cynthia. Oh, well then that's great today. In that day, Bango Kwanda system. To go on the point, first of all, uh, you can't you can't get you don't in the Kunenya. You know, think I see me the one about Tinka. Now what we are doing, we want to go to his place of work. So he's obliged to fight for his place of work because the speaker told them to scratch their backs. So I can't blame him. He has all the right to demoralize. And more so, he talked about um, the meetings. Those meetings, what has he yielded in those meetings? How is the how is how is his constitution for the four terms or the three terms? How is his constituency doing? Is it good? You know, or it is just talking and talking and talking and talking. Another thing, we have seen him moving from one party to another, being a rebel MP from NRM, going here and there, here and there, going back inside and coming back inside. We don't know the deals that uh, they put for him on the table, but the issue is, why would you come here and start demoralizing Ugandans who are just saying that we are coming in peace, even if we are three, even if we are four, it's enough, we are citizens and we are coming. You would be the one saying, Ugandans, go, go, push, go. But you should be the one guiding us to be peaceful, to be, uh, telling us what to do. Because you are our voice. We, 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 lent, we did lend you our voice. But you're here demoralizing us. That shows us that you're actually with those people who are just in the backyard laughing at us, ready to laugh. We are not judging you, so don't put yourself in the arms way, but rather advise us and guide us for, for, to, do, to do the better thing. Another thing, right now, when Banga, government of Uganda, 
the, the, the cabinet sat bafni meeting a yamangu never resolving that they want to bring back uh, the the 2009 anti corruption act well, what, don't you ask yourself why have they brought that act today and now when it was you know it is a 29 2009 act and in this act they are proposing that um, any person who is convicted of corruption should not hold an, an, an office or should not even be vetted to, to, to occupy any office it means we have already started scoring even before storming the the streets in a peaceful manner so if you're speaking about what we have achieved, even before we have set out, before setting out our feet to the parliament, we have scored. You, you know, so you should, you should, you should, um, you should benchmark your behaviors and ethics of work. Because, my dear brother, Honorable Tinka Simide, people look up to you, but it is not all about speaking in anger and speaking in a lot of speed and a lot of English. It is doing the due diligence as a, as a, as a parliamentarian and putting the house on order by, you know, guiding us as citizens of Uganda. We've seen the speaker gagging you, not allowing you to speak. You know, whereby you try to speak, he says, shut up. But you haven't got that energy to tell the speaker who has been telling you to shut up. But you have the same energy to come here and start demoralizing citizens who are waking up to do the due diligence. Use that same energy. We have the ICT, uh, the ICT department in parliament. As a wabanga mazima dalori musa jamu gezi nyo. Luachi dogamba IT department. We know we are voting and we are moving forward. We are moving forward. We voted no, and the speaker said yes. Can't you, as a as a land person, no come and screens we have a system. We vote for you our iPads. No come and they should put a system that we vote from our iPads. We are going to look at it directly. We are going to follow the money. We are going to look at it directly. We are going to look at the screens. We are going to look at the screens. We are going to look at it. That is the transparency. They want to vote some parliament rather than demoralizing uh, demoralizing Ugandans here. Another thing I want uh, to ndimunga maliriza kubasa agala kuogera nyo other people city and we are late. I want to improve our Ugandans. Ugandans tuti alimu mbele li e yasimanyanga I want you know sense of importance I'm the one who is more important here I'm the I'm the highest person on the ladder. That is stupid. We are done with that. We are done with that. Tuko ya bantu wabe fula nti ndimu gezi nyo kuchido omulala ndimu kaga nyo kuchido omulala ndimu gezi 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 nyo kuchido so we know all of all that. So Sidi Mukuyomba over to 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 PSU. But I want that Tinka Simile that I saw when he was a rebel NRM MP on Tredi Kwata. I want to see that same person who led people on Gabagamba to Gabi at the Muji Kwata Ko. He had the Bama and Baji Kwata Ko. I want to see that same energy. But right now you're demoralizing Ugandans. Simayanga, you have been holding meetings in my village, JC, and I have you see. Now to let me do and see. Uganda already right now has problems. Tinka Simile Nyanda Kuga and Rumbu Nyankola and Uganda in the JNG. No Yanda Abanya Uganda, but Heriari, Baba Tavira is over. It is uh, president as uh, signing a three, three, uh, three. Uh, was was uh, were they act or whatever in too low as a taxes. Talk as we are going to go to Kenya signing a resolution as we are going to go to Zavat, to Zachi, Zachi. Um, for talk about behavior, or you are not going to be able or you are not demoralizing our Uganda. Are you ready for Ugandans or you against Ugandans? You should state this very clearly. I have seen here my brother or my my, my a senior, a senior, a senior police officer, or um, Asan Kasinji. You are very okay, okay, okay. okay. I'm uh, just to, sorry to interrupt you. He's retired. We yeah, are retired. Yeah, he's retired. Yes. Oh, retired with. Okay, Jangu Bola. Yeah, na gari. But as an you know, retired with a very clean record. For for them, for him, I believe we are not enough. To Chimani, he's a clean guy, a very good guy. So naya in Abu Bebando, I believe we are going to go to Gamba and Kubana. We are not retiring. If Ugandans come in peace, we are going to Gamba that we are coming in peace. We are not going to come with bangers or to fight anyone. We are going to come in peace. So if the police allows to work with us. In peace, we shall work with them in peace. So we are trying to create a peaceful and a harmony way of working together. But if you try to create a way which is a dissident of that, what does it employ? We have been here speaking about peace and preaching peace to an extent that some people are calling us government agents. But again, you people in government and police, they are coming out to say we sense that they, it will be violent. We sense. And that is the thing you're using to stop Ugandans from asking for accountability. The issue is one. Ugandans are waking up. Together, even you retired uh, Asan Kasinje, my brother, Salamu Alaikum. On that day, you can come and match with us and guide us wherever we can. You know, you can join us because you, you're a good person. You know the cause. We are calling you also to join us, uh, Honorable Asan Kasinje. We are calling you. Mwake mwenye ankole, mwenda kakura jena, wasa mwenda kakura fande, ya kumulutaya mentaku gambarungu. Back to you, my sister. This man, I'm going to tell you, I'm going to tell you,
Uh, thank you so much, Mugisha, for that uh, uh, wonderful uh, submission. Um, Makana, uh, you have exactly two minutes. Finally, uh, Kasinja, thank you for coming. Uh, uh, you always uh, have a lot of questions for all of us, regardless of our whatever, however much we come to you. I want to really appreciate you that you're really patient with us, and uh, I commend the fact that you always still come to us and be patient with us and listen to us. Yeah, this is the people we have raised, and of course, you have to bear with us and enjoy the ride. We are officially inviting you to the march on the 23rd. We are marching to Parliament uh, in a protest for corruption, for the rampant corruption that has taken over the government. Um, uh, uh, it looks like the government has literally failed to, to combat this. So we as citizens, as young generation, we are saying no. Uh, we need uh, to help the government because, uh, as the saying goes, we are the government. So therefore, it is our moral authority to, to, <clears throat> to stand up and say things are not going the right way. And uh, we need things to be done the right way. So we are officially inviting you on the 23rd of uh, July to come and march with us. Now, can I have uh, two minutes? Yes, good evening, everyone. Precious, am I clear? Yes, yes, you're not clear. Yeah, first and foremost, actually, I'd like to make some clarification. And, you know, there have been a lot of questions, and, you know, one even uh, inboxed Dr. Spire asking about uh, whether we are going to deliver a petition. And the truth to be told is, even if we wanted to deliver a petition, we have nobody to deliver it to. Because, first and foremost, we are saying the speaker must resign. And if you're saying that the speaker must resign, who are you taking the, the, the petition to? You know, and, you know, nowadays, actually, I've seen even horrible Kabanda coming out, you know, with uh, sheets of, uh, you know, things that actually I'm not even understanding the whole thing. It's, uh, it's, like, uh, it's like he's trying to rectify himself. And, you know, Agree or disagree, but the whole of parliament has, you know, it has disappointed us, you know, and right now, no MP, no MP can tell me that, you know, he's better or he's fighting corruption, you know, they're all clowns, they're all, you know, showing us what we, we want to, to see. And, you know, during these, these days, as we are approaching the protest today, they're all coming out trying to show us that they're fighting corruption. And truth to be told, they're fighting nothing, just like Agatha said. Most of these opposition members, actually, we had faith in the opposition. And, you know, they were all uh, lying about, you know, the committee sittings. This shows that whoever is in that building, it's, it's not right, actually, to, to come out saying that they fight corruption. And, you know, for us, we are open. They can come or join us, you know, in the protest. We have no problem. But again, one thing, you know, to show us that they're actually, let me call it the lesser, lesser devil. It's, it's something, you know, totally immoral. You know, it's, it's the highest kind of immorality I've ever seen, by the way. Because, you know, they would have started this match. They would have started this fight against corruption. But they were all seated in SC offices, you know. They all enter the, the building, enjoy emulates. As, you know, kids out there don't have, you know, schools. They don't have classrooms. Hospitals have no drugs. And, you know. They're only making back-end deals. So what we are saying is that they are free to join. However, we are not delivering any petition of any kind, even if it means camping outside that building for months and months and months. We shall be there. And, you know, Anita must resign, you know, and, and, you know, the Constitution gives us the power. The power belongs to the people. And it's the people that put her there. And, you know, sometimes I look at these MPs and I'm like, people who vote for these people, the people who receive the 1K, should start addressing the country and apologizing. Because these people give you 1K only for you to, to you know, to be hit by a motorcycle and taken to hospital whereby there are no drugs. So, you people, when these people come on TVs and tell us whatever they want us to hear, you know, we are giving them a chance to manipulate us. And, you know, and actually, I didn't even hear what to write as they said. I, my brain went went into lockdown mode. So, what we, what we should do is we should continue calling upon everyone. And, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm glad uh, I've seen a letter that my brother soon has shared of, of a pastor who's, who has urged his, his ship to, to come and join us in the fight against corruption. And, you know, let us urge everyone, religious leaders, you know. Some of us, our dominions have, have, have let us down, actually. Me right now, I can't even say my dominion. Why? Because these people are not fighting, are not standing with us to, to, to condemn corruption. Instead, when they are giving microphones, they be asking for V8s. Yet the people who are, who are funding those, who are giving them fuel, don't even have what to eat. So, as a country, if you don't feel the pain, you know, Agatha, Agatha made points that you felt that were from the heart, you know. So, if you don't feel the pain of this country, I think you should be relocated to somewhere, I don't know where. But as a country, we need to, to unite and say... Enough is enough. People are tired in this country. Everyone is there. So we should have each other's back as the protest. They reaches, and we know that this ain't actually me. I'm not I'm not matching for any of you. Precious, I'm not matching for you. Soon I'm not matching for you. Let it be seen. You're matching for myself, you know. So so let us advocate for better services. These are our leaders. We elect them. We give them the microphone. And we have the we have the power to take, to take that power from them. We, we, we have the mandate. The constitution gives us the mandate. And ahead of the protest, I want to assure everyone that we've done everything legal to ensure that uh, the protest is legally is legal. Actually, we've written to the police and we've we've, we've got a uh, legal counsels on board. We've got medics on board. So, composing the government, so uh, precious and Morgan, thank you for hosting. Have a blessed night. Uh, thank you so much, Makana. Um, uh, Hassan, we will have Hassan, and then we will have Mosidi David, and then we'll be closing the space. Um, uh, please uh, make it uh, quick and short, Hassan. 
Thank you so much, good girl. Um, uh, in 2010, we formulated what we call the Mugati Party in Makere University with other uh, friends of mine. And uh, uh, we, we managed to, to do a lot of stuff, uh, which stuff was uh, all about eating from those politicians. Uh, when, when those guys came in, the Tinka Similes, and uh, I hear them talking about all that, demoralizing us, I really feel bad. Because uh, centers are Mugutufu yeah, Mugutufu Tuazidia, yeah. Na ye tula banga te wadi chidako. Moko de bintunga mula bate mwina che mudako. Na ye how 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 is the society benefiting? O tura o tura no tuka no kura no la banga. You need to move away from that. No la ba bengo fume chidako. So wa wuli that tinga similenga demoralizing avan to ava joke la banga vanwa ni de chidako. Trust me, to gain that fan omu to ku twenty third, to gain that fan omu to e chasagara banange mugwemu man, o kufa kumu, no kuzuki la kumu. That's the truth. Don't be uh, put in a corner. And always the truth wins. Tugenda Thank you so much. See you on the 23rd. Uh, thank you, uh, Hassan. Afande, uh, uh, Hassan, you have a bodyguard. You have a bodyguard. Good for you. So you have an excuse for not coming too much. You already have a bodyguard. Your, your only job is to come and be on the front lane and hold your placards and uh, you have your own bodyguards. You'll have a bottle of water, whatever you want. We can come with the fan, whatever you want. All we need is for you to come and be with us on the uh, front line. Um, Mr. David, you have the mic. Uh, please, I hope you make it quick. And... Uh, then we'll have one more speech, and then we'll come to the space. Uh, first of all, I want to appreciate everyone that have gotten some space to be here and time. I know it isn't something very easy. Uh, it is very unfortunate because I've been up and down, though I've been following. I do not know whether we still have journalists here uh, that are still around. But uh, I want to start from a bad note. Uh, you understand that we have platforms that we've been using, radios, uh, TVs, mostly the live stream media, some of us that have gotten that capacity and opportunity to use them, we've been utilizing them. But it is very unfortunate from UCC and uh, and Uganda police, I am reliably informed that, uh, for example, Kayongo that hosted me uh, yesterday, I think I talked to a good girl yesterday while I was at PAL, they almost abducted him today and sent him warnings that uh, that he, he did wrong to host those, those, uh, those that were in the talk show. And uh, and that is coming from police and UCC. Uh, today I've been at uh, uh, Google the TV. You would think it is a TV that has, uh, for example, the, all, all, the viewerships of all TVs is not the same. But nevertheless, still, police is intimidating uh, these, these journalists and uh, place houses. So we should be, we should be alert. And uh, for us, we cannot, we cannot be stopped. I think no one can stop an idea whose time has come. And surely we are moving forward. I only wanted to, if we still have editors of programs, for example, NTV, NBS, I know it can also be risky where we are going, but we need to occupy, we need to occupy some of these spaces. And we need to be very deliberate on mobilizing, but not only mobilizing, but sensitizing the people that this time around 23rd, we are coming peacefully. It is a peaceful demo. We are not coming with stones, we are not coming with pangans, we are not coming with spears, we are coming. Now this is just our duty, it's our mandate, it is our constitutional mandate, just like Article 29.1D says that we have freedom of assembly and we have also freedom of, to, to, to demonstrate. And it is very deliberate in that article that you have freedom to demonstrate, not alone with the others. Therefore, apart from if they, are, they want to tell us that they have changed the constitution, but also it is very important that General 7 demonstrated. He set a precedent that he also protested in the, in, the, in, the, in the forests and, you know, people are forgetting. So I think he gave us the, only, the, the good way. I have had, I have had, I think it was uh, Moez, whether Moez or someone at, on CBS uh, trying to slow some insults that actually he pits, he, pits, uh, is, he thinks that uh, we are not doing well as, as a generation. Uh, therefore, because he was actually giving a precedent that happened while they were young like we are and what they could afford and what they could do, Therefore, we are doing nothing while our country is being looted and we are only looking on. Therefore, I just want to urge people, whoever is intimidated, don't be intimidated. Uh, the rest we shall discuss. I know I have come and uh, you are almost winding up. 
Uh, maybe uh, we shall get some other time, but we pray that those media houses that still have spaces, they should invite some colleagues around. There are those that can take up those spaces and please use them to mobilize, sensitize, and let us be very deliberate. Let us be consistent, but most so important to be determined. Uh, thank you so much. Uh, I want to remind everyone as I wind up that death is compulsory. Everyone is going to die. So no one should intimidate you about uh, the dying, the shooting, and whatever the fucking shit some people are, are throwing around our spaces. So just let's be there. Let's be there. Please let us not let us not betray our motherland, Uganda. Let us be there to protect our motherland, Uganda. Thank you. Good night. Uh, uh, thank you so much, David. And uh, um, uh, it's it's sad that uh, the older people have failed, all have accepted defeat in one way or the other. They see the country and they see everything going, and they really go. And the young ones will come up to say, okay, let's also give it a try. The other same people say, no, you guys, you can't do it. You guys, you are useless. You guys, uh, you want also eat because they are used to eating. So those who are blaming eating, Kassinger, he doesn't know any better. He has uh, worked for a government that works on eating. So he doesn't know any better. That's how he thinks things should go. But I think it is our turn, like uh, uh, General Otafiri said, it is your turn. It is uh, when they were your age, they took up guns and they didn't even wait to negotiate with the, the, the then. I think I just wait for them to come and, you know, say whatever they, what they wanted to say. They took up guns and said, no, this is our time. We need things done this way and yes they, they did so do not be discouraged do not feel bad that someone of uh, his caribou comes and says these things they don't know any better and of course they live off the, the status quo they enjoy it they this, it feeds them you know so uh AJ, you are our last speaker you have a few minutes uh, make it quick and we close the space uh thank you good girl i'm sorry for the background noise i request for the mic earlier i was in the, in the upper child flat and uh i have colleagues there i worked with them for like i worked with them for like two years and they had good contributions but we missed that but uh, let me first take you back to my background about so the journalists. We have the, I think, the most laid back or the, I don't know how I can call them, the poor paying journalist houses. Journalist houses, or I can call them, even Monitor itself. Because in my time there, we could get a journalist from those houses, even if they are shooting just a commercial for their, for their houses, like they want to talk about the mid price and whatnot. They come to the office, ask for something to pay them. Some could go with 20k, 150, depending on the, on the media that has, has come. So if you're calling them in this space, they are the most corrupt. Trust me, that's why you have a few of them here. I've seen Mordecai and the Solomon. Yes, you can count them by the hand. For being here. So the media houses here are so corrupt. That's why you cannot help journalists on this platform tonight. Uh, another thing, um, <clears throat> the young people, we have felt like now I was in the market to refer to the for the microphone, to the voice of the people. You see, if we focus on the top X people, tweeters, we won't get the following in this agenda we're in. For the next five or six days we are remaining with, we should focus on the low person. A person on the ground, the person down, down there, that the people are going to make the action. And I know most of you guys here abroad, you are not on the, me, I'm on the ground. If you look at my profile, I'm a bartender, I'm, I have a bar business, I'm a, I'm a local person, by the way. And I post what I feel like I want to post. And I know how our business are going because of the effects. One effect is the anti-social law, what we passed. And if you're living in Kampala, it affects most bars in Kampala. Believe me, these guys will spend money in our bars. But most bars are closed because of that law. Because these guys want this. They always been public showing, blowing money. And now most bars are closed. Most of you can identify this, by the way. And you're not talking about this. So if you want to be friend people to support you, talk about the real facts that are affecting people. Not just talk about facts that are on Twitter here. You go on TikTok and talk about this. Believe me, those are in businesses. They won't do anything to talk about things that are affecting them. So realistically speaking, you, you see, the, the topic is a lot of journalists here, but how many journalists were here? It's only Solomon and Mordecai. Mordecai is in US, I don't know. Solomon, I don't know, he's here too. But me, I have guys work for, is it nice TV? This is most TV coming up. But I believe these guys, they walk. We can't even look at their shoe. It's torn. AJ, AJ, I think we lost you. Um, I can't. Mo yeah, Morgan, can you AJ? Okay, go on. Finish up, AJ. Uh, yeah, close to you. Morgan, do you hear AJ? No, we can't hear him. I signed out. I signed out. That was my view. Let's focus on the people on the ground. Like, you look, you look at media houses. Eh? There are these upcoming journalists, even for online pages, online news. These guys are doing bad. Whenever you call them for your content, you even have to pay them. And let me tell you, by for that, if anyone can confirm, even Gabriel can confirm, ask him how much does it cost to, to a story to be run in the monitor. They can, it doesn't go beyond the 50K. It's 5,000, 50K, or 20K, a good story for a story you bring. So the more stories you bring, the more money you get. That's why I don't have journalists on this page here, like supporting us. These guys are doing bad. If we are pushing for them also, 
it could be better. These guys are not okay. I'm telling you the facts. That's why you don't have journalists here. And let, let me tell you something. A revolution without journalists is almost as dead as gone. Because that journalists will spread the information as far as possible. But the media houses, they even monitor we are pushing here, ask them about the pay the journalists per story. That's the shit. I'm sorry, but I'm so bitter about this. Good night. Thanks for the space. Ciao. Uh, thank you so much, so much, uh, AJ. Um, I want to thank my co-host, Morgan. Thank you for, uh, for hosting with me. Uh, our speakers, our listeners, uh, thank you so much for this wonderful time. I uh, you know we had promised to end this space a bit earlier, but we pushed you, and I'm glad that you all stayed and listened in, because sometimes there's so much to say, and I, sometimes it needs to be said. Um, uh, in a special way, I want to thank my team that organized this space, that called in um, the journalists and everyone and all the organizers. Thank you so much. Uh, we'll be marching, lastly, we'll be marching on the 23rd of July. We'll be marching to Parliament. Uh, uh, we will be, um, the dress code is white, white and black, but it's okay to come as, as you are. Come with the so come with the Zeta, come with music, come with some water, come with some Rolex, uh, come with the commando because some of us may be hungry. Come with whatever you want to come with, but most importantly, come with a play card that has uh, uh, the information that you want to, that has the words or the message that you need that you need to be had. We must emphasize that you have to be peaceful. We are not going to uh, destroy anything. We are going to just march to Parliament and ask for resignation of uh, the speaker because we cannot keep having a speaker that is sanctioned over corruption. So um, again, we will be having a space every single day for the twenty third of March for for, for for the March. So if you have any questions, have any information you want to say, you have anything, the conversation still continues. This is not not the last space. We will, be, we will be bringing in other sets of uh, specialists or professionals. We'll be having lawyers, we'll be having doctors. We'll be having, we want everyone to be on board. We don't want an excuse like they didn't know. We'll be, we will be having police officers if that if we uh, if we if they allow to join us. We will be having uh, activists. So for the next days, we'll be hosting a space every single day of, of particular people, and we, we hope everyone comes on board. Um, with that said, allow me to say good night and thank you for joining us uh, tonight. See you tomorrow and see you on the 23rd as we march to Parliament. My name is Precious. Uh, thank you for listening in.